I'm glamming up for the Christmas holiday season. Oh, yes, you got to look your best as you're going to all those great parties. And joining us today is makeup artist Nadia Gonzalez to share a few makeup tips on how to really sparkle and shine when you are heading on out. But first of all, you are a cruelty free makeup artist. What's that mean? So I'm a cruelty-free makeup artist, which means that I don't use products that test on animals. So all the products I use are not test on an tested on animals or sold in China where it's mandated to test on animals. Okay. So all the products I use are cruelty-free and healthy. All right. Our first beautiful model is Ivana, and this is more of a daytime look, right? Yeah, so this is a daytime look. This is um, a fall look, but it's more daytime. It's more muted, and it's not as dramatic. Um, can you close your I just did a green eyeshadow just for the festive holiday look, and then I did like a nude lip color, and that way it's like a daytime look before you go out. Okay. And you could even go out with this look, but if you wanted to kind of zazz it up a little bit, you could put on what a little darker shade of lipstick. Or yeah, something like so that. you can put on a darker shade of lipstick, and you can probably put more of like a cat eye and put maybe some more glitter, and that'll be your like nighttime look. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you also do photography and film along with the makeup, right? Yes, I do. Okay. Oh my goodness. Look at these beautiful, beautiful pictures here. And what got you into doing uh, the makeup and photography? What the combination of the two? I mean, you can take beautiful pictures of your, your own makeup. <laughs> yeah. So I'm also a, a photographer, an illustrator, and a director, and a filmmaker. So I do a bunch of artistic things. But um, yeah, so I got into makeup first and then film. Okay. So Our next beautiful model, Alyssa. And we're talking about the lips, the red lipstick, right? Yes. Yeah, so a classic red lipstick for this holiday season. Um, that's your go-to. And then what we're going to do is like a little demo on her eyes. Um, we're going to do like this gold eyeshadow. So, mm -hmm. but it's very subtle, right? Because if you're going lips, you keep the eyes. Yes, you not never. As bomb, I mean, boom. with makeup, you can express yourself and you can really do whatever you want. But typically, the kind of the rule is to just pick one. So one more dramatic than the other. So what I'm. So if you are going to say, I think I'm, tonight it's going to be the red lipstick for Christmas, and then just tone down the eyes a little. Exactly. So what I'm doing is just putting on this um, cream, eye, well, cream color eyeshadow mm -hmm. just on the lid. Now, would you want to, even though you're not over accentuating her eyes, maybe put a little bit of the sparkly kind of eyeshadow in there? Yes, all? and that's what we're going to do. We're going to do right now. So we're putting on this brown eyeshadow, and what we're going to do is just blend it out. Mm -hmm. And then to make it really pop, we're going to use this gold eyeshadow in the middle from Beauty Counter which is a really great cruelty-free brand that's healthy for you. And that's just that little extra something on there, Exactly, right? just that little extra something. Now, speaking of the... Oh, you're ready to hit the town, aren't you? <laughs> speaking of the, uh, the cruelty-free, where do you buy cruelty-free makeups? So they sell cruelty-free makeup at a lot of places, but on my website, I have a whole list of brands that I like to use and I trust. So if you go to my website, then I'll have like tutorials and um, brand... Like okay. choices. <laughs> and Jessica is our last model here, and we're talking about the glamorous eyes, not the yes. lips this time, right? Yeah, so this is more of a dramatic, like New Year's Eve look, so something for the nighttime. Um, so what I did is I just put on some blue eyeshadow because sometimes women don't know how to use blue eyeshadow or they'll be a little scared to do it. Mm -hmm. But you can really use blue eyeshadow if you put brown on the outer corner. It really complements the look. Um, what I used was this palette from Beauty Counter. Okay. And you also have some classes, too. With tips, yes, right? I do. Okay. I, I teach makeup classes, and I teach art classes. Very good. Well, if you'd like uh, more on these makeup tips and learn more from Nadia Gonzalez, visit SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Ladies, thank you very, very much.